Hello, in this short video, I would like to show how to use the inbuilt video conferencing and microphone system in Lecture Hall 3 in Building 50 of the Otto von Gericke University in Magdeburg. I'm currently looking into the front camera of my Microsoft Surface laptop and I'm speaking into a Holy Land Tech LARC 150 microphone. And now I will switch over to the rear camera of my laptop. So you can see I'm really in the lecture hall, moving the camera up a bit in the center. You can see the projector. You can see two black speakers left and right. And in the center below the ceiling, three cameras. And now I will switch over to the left one of these cameras, a Logitech Rally or Rally system. And you can see how the camera is switching on, going to some default view showing a total view of this lecture hall, in my opinion, a bit too much of the ceiling, which is maybe not that interesting. So using a remote control, you can zoom the camera. And now I'm going to preset number two. Preset number two is a zoom to the position of the speaker. Uh, I'm rather tall, the camera is mounted or set a little bit too low. So as you can see, using this remote control, I can move it up, I can move it around, I can zoom out or I can zoom back in again. And this is the total zoom. And so this camera is now going via this USB cable into my laptop. So the only thing that you connect, that you need to connect is a, is a further USB cable. And this white HDMI adapter brings the uh, output to the projector. A projector can be seen at preset number one, um, or this would, also show the usual blackboard if you would like to write something on a blackboard and what what you can see is that it's really fairly easy to use this camera in zoom so you just go to video settings and select the logitech relay camera and as said now i'm um, using my left mic i will switch to the uh, microphone of the lecture hall which is this one here and um, i've checked before so in my opinion, the quality is okay. You can understand everything, but it could sound better. Um, to check if it's a problem with this microphone, I will mute this for a second and go. So this is microphone one. And let's check microphone number two. I'm not sure if this sounds better, maybe, maybe not. Um, I will listen to it on the recording and I can also switch over to the external microphone which is built in into my Surface laptop. Uh, this should also be quite okay um, for, for, for a built-in microphone. I think the quality is quite decent. So I will go back to this zoom that is to the position of the presenter. Again, move the camera up a bit. Um, and switch back to my left mic because I think the is a little better. Um, so I think it's a fairly nice system. It's very easy to set up and very easy to connect to your computer. Um, what one drawback might be that the camera is mounted rather high in the lecture hall. So it's quite difficult to look into the camera for the attendees in Zoom, to look into the lecture hall for the face-to-face uh, -face attendees and to look on the screen of the laptop to check what is happening there. So I still like the front camera of my Surface laptop because Using this camera, I think it's a little easier to look into the audience, to look into the camera for the Zoom attendees and to look on the screen to check what's happening there. And during testing today, I also found another disadvantage of this Logitech Rally system. So if I now switch back to the Logitech Rally, um, you can see that it went into sleep mode in between. So it's waking up again, going to full Zoom, and if I want to zoom it back uh, to preset number two on my position here, it at least takes, I don't know, five to 10 seconds until I'm back at my previous camera settings. So if, I, if you want to switch cameras because you want to show some experiment on the second camera or show some detail here and there, um, the, 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 this Logitech Rally system will go to sleep 
it will have to wake up again and all settings that you have done before. Using this remote control will be lost if you do not have saved them to some kind of preset. So that was all I wanted to show in this short video.